Hey guys, Coop3G here, and I'm back with another 7 Days to Die video. Um, let me get my timer started here right quick. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit of dead air. There we go. Alright. So as I was saying, I am back with 7 Days to Die. This is actually Season 2, because this is Alpha 11. Um... Alpha 11 is hard. It's very, very, very difficult. Um, so be prepared for me to die a lot. Um, I've already died several times in my multiplayer servers um, that I've been playing with my friends and stuff, uh, just to kind of test out the mechanics, so that you don't, you guys don't get like the raw, crappy version of me. Um, at least this way, I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm doing now. <sighs> um. But yeah, so this is Alpha 11. Uh, you might notice that the trees and stuff look different. Um, that's because this is using Unity 5, and they've uploaded um, what they call a speed tree system. I'm not really sure what all goes into the speed tree system, but I do know that it looks a little bit crappy as you stand out here. But as you get in closer, it phases into like this really beautiful bush looking thingy. And I'm just going to go ahead and destroy it. It's so beautiful, I want to destroy it. Um, but yeah, it's hard. Let's do a purse. I just bought the water. And I'm not going to kill that deer right now. Um, because the zombies, can s like they have an amazing sense of smell now. So they can smell you from like miles away. And I'd rather not have to deal with them right now, at least not until I have some some stuff built up. One of the things that you might notice as I'm breaking these is that you no longer get grass, you actually get plant fibers. So they've taken out that like middleman step um, in crafting, and so you just get plant fibers now. Um, and the same is holds true with small stones, um, except it's kind of reversed because you don't have to break down the small stones into sharp stones. Uh, you just use the small t stones to craft. I was really hoping I would get some arrow or some feathers because arrows are uh, you can't use your axe in this game. It's just it's so much easier to kill them with arrows. It's a little bit more labor intensive, yes, but it's it's better in the long run because you don't end up in, with infections and all this craziness and your wellness doesn't drop down to below 50, or well, it's actually capped, so it doesn't go below 50. Um, let's see, let me go over some of the patch notes right quick and see if I can so we already talked about Unity 5, the speed tree system uh, the occlusion system so like that's just basically what um, what it gives the shadows their shadow so you'll notice that whenever it transitions to night it's a much more gradual transition it happens much more gracefully um, than it used to so it wouldn't like it doesn't jump back and forth. Um, let's make a stone axe right quick. This is what I was talking about. So use the plant fibers. And instead of using sharp stones, you just use small stone. And you hit craft. Put that over here. Something I wanted to bring you to your guys' attention. If you hover over it, you'll see that this like little bar down here is the same color as that text at the top that says faulty stone axe. So it gives you the... Uh, kind of the, the the crappiness of your weapon or tool at the top there. Um, so this is a faulty stone axe. It's it's crap. It doesn't it doesn't work. <laughs> I will show you right quick. Um, we'll just go over to this here. And if you'll watch the little health bar down there at my axe with one hit, you can already see some of it's gone away. 
with two hits, it's it's even more. I mean, it just it's ridiculous how bad this thing sucks. But you know, th with the leveling system, as as I gain up in level, I'll start to get better better weapons and tools. So it kind of gives you a sense of progression now. You don't just get like this feeling that you know you're just kind of occupying space in a world that doesn't change with you. Um, I think they also said that they changed it so that as you gain level, the zombies will drop better loot. The zombies already drop better loot. Uh, like my friend in one of his multiplayer servers, he just got a Forge Ahead book, which I've never seen a f and before Unity 5, or before Alpha 11 rather, I've never seen a Forge book drop off a zombie. So that's something new for sure. Um, let's see here. I would really like some more stones uh, so that I can make, you know what, I'm going to go over here because I see one right there that I want. And then um, there's actually one right there too. Oh, I guess not. I thought it, there was one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit I to bring up the inventory. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pull up the wooden bow. So, this is a new thing. The crossbow is still here. It's down here. But it takes a whole bunch of different stuff. So you can't get it right now. Because you need like forged iron. You need leather strips. All that stuff is stuff that's not available to you right now. So they gave you the wooden bow. The wooden bow is not quite as good as the crossbow. But, I mean, it's, it's decent. It's decent enough for what you need it to do. So you make that. And... You'll see that, click on the arrow, and whenever we put that in there, that in there, and then that in there, you'll see it gives us five arrows instead of just one. So that's, that's always nice. And we'll go ahead and use all of our stones, move that down there, and now we have a wooden bow, which is much more useful. Let me just go ahead and hit reload, which is much more useful for um, looting and stuff because you can actually take out zombies at a distance as opposed to getting right up in their face and having them tear it off. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> all I saw was this one single crawler. I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. And then all these other freaking zombies come out of the middle of nowhere. I'm probably going to kill them because I want to get... I want to get whatever loot they have. There we go. So, as you can see down at the bottom right above my compass, it said level up, you are now level 2. So that is the leveling system I was talking about. I don't have anything new right now, like it doesn't it doesn't help me much right now. But uh, as I kill zombies and as I use my my weapons and tools and such, they'll they'll level up um, so that they'll do more damage or uh, you know take longer to degrade that sort of thing. Goodness gracious! Okay. Well, apparently I suck at shooting. It's a little bit more difficult with these guys with the bobbing head movements. All right. And so now I'm level three. Uh, where was that nurse that I just killed? I don't know where she went. Maybe I didn't kill her just now. Already I'm getting lost. Um, so yeah. Uh, we're going to go around this little house on the prairie here. It's just a barn. I don't think there's going to be anything in there really of note that I need right now. Um, 
and it's been doing this where it'll just drop really low in frame rate and I don't know why that is uh, it's very irritating um, and then it'll just it'll go back to normal so bear with me guys um, yesterday it was dropping really low because my hard drive is full this hard drive that I'm on right now has like 500 gigabytes left um, so I don't it shouldn't it shouldn't be having issues so I don't think it's the hard drive I think it's something else I don't know what that would be um, but it's irritating <laughs> to say the least uh, so let's just and we've already got a hunting rifle book. That was what I was talking about, the uh, the loot system. You can find books in a lot of other places rather than just uh, bookshelves. And, uh, and what's the word I was looking for? Bookstores. Now they, they spawn out in the world dynamically too. So you're not screwed if you can't if you don't spawn near a prefab, um, you should just be able to kill zombies. Um, hopefully until you get the book that you need. Or, you know, you may, you may end up having to go to a prefab. It's just kind of like that survival um, randomness that really makes the game intriguing and really draws you in and makes you feel like you're a part of it. Uh, I'm hoping to find another purse with food in it. That would be awesome. Because as we've seen, females of the post-apocalyptic world were always well prepared with whole purses full of canned foods. Um, let's see. Uh, if I could get away from these guys for just couple of seconds um, because I would really like to go over some more of the patch notes with you guys um, they've also added in a couple things like the things that I've seen uh, they've added in a blunderbuss uh, which is like a musket I think so it's like a musket, it's not a musket. It actually may be a musket, I don't know, I haven't used it yet. I haven't even made one yet, so I have no idea what it looks like or how it acts. Um, I may be able to do that right now, actually. If I get a second. Um, let's see, blunderbuss. Uh, no, I don't have any, um, whatchamacallit, uh, short iron pipes. So, these are new, they're casino tokens. Um, I don't know what they're used for but I turned them into scrap. So that's what they're used for for now. Uh, let's make some more of these. Yeah, 55 should be good. That'll give us a close to 100. And we should be set for a little while, at least, on arrows. Um, let's see here. Get up this hill here so I can kind of have an overview of everything. Kind of get an idea of where I stand on the whole zombie situation. Okay, so... I don't know if... Okay, that's a, that's a pig, not a dog. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Better looking fog. Uh, it does. It looks like Silent Hill at night and in the early morning. This fog is just so dense. Um, new quality range system for guns. So you can, there's like seven different qualities. Um, you've seen faulty, uh, poor, flawless, uh, good, some of the other different qualities. And basically, if you collect all the parts um, and say they're like you have two good and one poor, it should like average out to like either a good or an average type weapon. Um, and then those, those govern, um, like damage, 
zoom re zoom level, how far it knocks them back, how quickly it, it goes down, penetration, how long it takes the bullet to fall off. All that stuff will be affected by the sum of the parts. Um, new quality range system for tools, which I've already shown you. That also applies to your melee weapons and your armor. Um, let's see here. New player leveling system. You've already seen a couple of that. Uh, so you gain, you gain XP for killing zombies, unlocking new recipes, and crafting new recipes for the first time. So, like, I got that hunting rifle book. If I was to craft a hunting rifle for the first time, I would gain XP for that. Also, they added two new locations, or added new locations. Uh, hospital, grocery stores, two grocery stores, a uh, bigger bookstore. And the big bookstore looks nice. I actually stole some stuff on the multiplayer server from the bookstore because it's got, like, a like an end table with a lamp on it and some stuff like that so it looks really cool uh, new larger hardware store I have not seen that yet two new luxury cabins and an end of your Indian burial ground which is kind of where those casino tokens come from um, now some of those are in the uh, the Navisgan like the the story mode that they have it's not actually a story mode yet but I'm assuming that they're going to make that like their story mode um, like their campaign thing and then some are only available in random gen so uh, some you will you may not see I may I may for the sake of completeness completeness uh, just start a uh, was that a feral no no okay um I may, for the, the sake of completeness, start a Naviscan server. I'm on random gen right now, uh, just because I like the uh, the unknown. I like the unknown of it, and it's 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 a procedurally um, rendered game. So whenever you pick random gen, it makes this humongous world. And that actually may be part of the problem um, that I was experiencing early on in my video is that it was still drawing in the world, and so that may be why it was kind of um, why it was kind of lagging for a little bit there, because uh, it seems to have have fixed itself, or it's not doing it anymore. So that's cool. I appreciate it, game. What is, is that a rabbit? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I can just sit there and die because I'm not gonna risk getting that crap on me. Um, so this is another new thing that they put in. It's called biome dithering. Um, so you've got your like hub city wasteland over there and you have your plains back here. In between, you have like this little area where it kind of uh, it's like gradually turns into the wasteland um, and that's new they added that in so that it doesn't just like so there's not like just a clear cut line this is the plains that's the wasteland you kind of get like a little bit of a uh, of crossover which I guess makes it seem a little bit more realistic um, I don't really know if it matters that much, but you know it's a nice little touch for them to think of putting into the game. Uh, come here, you. Leave that deer alone. I'm gonna use that later for my dinner. Moldy bread, always nice. I don't know if I really need it this early in the game. This is where it gets kind of crazy. I'm dealing with multiple zombies um, coming from multiple directions and a lot of them. Uh, so, oh come on. Really? Come on people. 
Uh, there we go, level four. Uh, he's dead. Oh shit. I was not paying attention to my surroundings, and I paid for it in the form of an infection. But we have moldy bread, so we should be somewhat okay. Uh, we won't be okay for a while now until we find the, uh, the beaker, but we'll be okay for a little while at least. gonna take a few a little bit to uh for it to for this infection to take hold so we should be okay oh come on stop bobbing your head stop bobbing and weaving Just floating like a butterfly stinging like a freaking bee oh jesus christ that scared the crap out of me okay So yeah, this is where it gets kind of crazy, is you just have so many zombies coming from so many different directions, and you kind of got to have like eyes in the back of your head almost, or you end up like I was, where you're stunned and freaking out because you can't get away from the zombie that's currently in your face. Ugh. So, um, it may seem like I'm leveling up pretty fast, but I've only killed 25 zombies, so I am leveling up pretty fast. It seems like it was taking me longer in my multiplayer server to level up. There we go. Pistol book. Those are always fun. a forge a head book that would be nice but you know we may, we're probably gonna have to work for it um but they start running at a much earlier stage uh they start running like 6 30 ish in the evening um and then stop running at about 6 30 in the afternoon or in the morning so they get like a solid 12 hours of running in there so um it's pretty crazy. It is pretty insane. Um, so what I'm kind of doing right now is I'm, I'm looking for a base, but I'm also trying to find some prefabs because I would like to set my base close to some prefabs uh, so that whenever like uh, the spawn date comes around, the respawn date comes around, it's not like a mad dash <sighs> to a mile and a half away. And I may just go over there into that forest biome. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go over there and find a road. And just kind of follow that road until I find some prefabs. I may have to set up a, like a little shack for the night or something. Um, if I can cut down some trees before the night falls. without attracting too much zombie attention. That's the main thing of this, is just try not to attract too much attention to yourself. Because if you get a whole bunch of zombies on you, um, you'll notice that the stamina bar is not anywhere near as large as it used to be. Um, and the same thing for the health bar. So it's, it's pretty difficult uh, once you get zombies on you to get them off of you. Uh, so the name of the game right now is kind of stealth. Although I'm not really being quiet. I should probably be more quiet than I am being. But, you know, I'm also I'm also trying to get some, some stuff done and move. So. So, I'm kind 
have flow. trying to do stuff. I'm trying to record. Go away. <laughs> Alright, so we got some corn seed. We already have some corn, so that's not really a big deal. Um, but it's always nice to have some corn. Uh, let's see here. Even right here would be a good place because you got a big water source. But I really want to find... Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been bad. Oh, fucking A. Sorry for my language, but I was, I thought that the water was deep enough that I wouldn't have done that. All right, so, shoot you in the head, that makes me feel a little bit better. So now the trek starts looking for a road. Okay, you need to go away. I'm not interested in dealing with you right now. quick. Luda. Oh. No. No, not the same. Not the same thing. Alright. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm really wanting to watch, uh, watch Fast and Furious 7. I've not seen it yet. I've seen all the Fast and the Furious movies. I have all the Fast and Furious movies on DVD. Um, and um, I re re me and my wife really want to go and see it, but I, the way with my, my work schedule is, and she's got a doctor's appointment coming up, so as soon as we're probably going to be able to go and see it, it's going to be on tu Tuesday? Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. One of those two days. Those are my off days um, this week. I'm on a really weird schedule, um, so it's cool, whatever, uh, let's see, I've got about a minute and a half left on this video, um, let me see if I can find kind of a safe zone, and I'll spend the last minute or so just going over um, patch notes and stuff. So for those of you that like zombie killing, this is your patch, because there is plenty to be had. Okay, so we're going to go through here, um, added new random gen underground cave system, new roads on hills, the biome transition dithering that I was telling you about, new rivers, and they actually made bridges over a lot of the rivers, so it's easier to get over it. Um, New smoother iron sight system. 
guess. I know you want to come and say hi, but I don't want to deal with you right now. I'm trying to talk. Uh, they added a new feral zombie, which has a chance for gun loot if you kill him. Added new on fire burnt zombie. Um, so that one that I was talking about where the, the burn victim, that's the timer, let's go for a little bit. Um, he can catch you on fire. You can also catch on fire from being hit with a torch, walking on lit campfires, walking on large ember piles, and from on fire zombies striking you. Uh, gore blocks is basically these when they decompose and you have a whole bunch of them on top of each other they stack up so you will no longer be safe by just having them die on your spikes they will start to make a ramp kind of like world war z and they'll start coming over your walls so that's kind of a problem uh Added sniper rifle schematic. Uh, health storage crate, really? I did not see that until just now. Let's see this. Storage health. Nice. Okay, that's cool. I'm really happy that they did that. Uh, cash register loot containers, um, which gives you those little, uh, those little tokens. Um, let's see here. Uh... Added unattainable books to gate all weapon part molds. I don't know what that means. Uh, dynamite. So you can throw dynamite now apparently. Uh, flagstone stairs and recipe for flagstone. Added snow roads and green metal 60s and tip blocks to the game. I don't know what a metal 60 is. Uh, Steam voice proximity chat. Uh, new flashlight model. Snow blowing drifting effect to the snow biome. Sand des dust to desert biomes. Casino token, which we've seen. Uh, the Shamway foods, I'm assuming that's the grocery store. Um, they've added a whole bunch of new sounds. Uh, snow zombie female sound set. So apparently there's now a snow zombie female. Added spider zombie sense sounds. I don't know what that is. I haven't heard that yet. Uh, they added the new system for the arrows to fall with gravity. So you've actually kind of got to factor that in. Um, so maybe you can shoot further. You just have to aim higher. Because uh, it'll drop with time. Added recipe for bolts and arrows from femurs. Uh, you saw that. I did that just a few minutes ago. Um, edible mushrooms. There are mushrooms in the caves. Uh, new firearm reload sounds. Uh, and then they changed a whole bunch of crap. Um, but we will probably go through the majority of that. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, uh, just go to 7 daystodiecom and find their, uh, it's the Alpha 11 um, Annihilation release blog update. And then they also released a hot fix with a couple of things. Um, so, yeah. it's There's just way too much in there for me to go over at one time but so for right now I have already gone over uh, I don't want to go too far over but we will pick off from where we left off right now so I want to thank you guys for watching if you guys don't mind hitting that uh, that like button or subscribing I would really appreciate it um, and as always leave a comment if you like what you see or you want to just talk and have a question about who I am or what I do or something that you'd like to see me do. And one thing that I wanted to show you before we go, uh, because that's actually there now, that is the core block. And you can actually stand on top of it. So the zombies will come over. will come over that core block into your base. And I just want to kind of make this a safe place for me to, to spawn. 
I'm gonna check these guys, make sure that neither one of them has a forger headbook, and then we will be done. All right. So once again, I am Coop3G, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take it easy.